Okay, we're back. We have our car. We can see our car. And so obviously, the stage screen is pretty much showing us what we want to see, where things are. And it's it's good, but it doesn't show you the final product. If you have a text box that you want invisible starting out, it's going to start out and it's invisible. It's not going to show you what it prints out. That's what the backstage is for. And you'll cover that in more advanced stuff. All right. You have pretty much the mouse thing where you can manipulate all the objects in it. You have the camera screen where it takes, shows you where the borders are that you work with, which you can stretch out in and out, up and down. It shows you your X, Y coordinates. It shows your width of an object, your height of an object, and your rotation of an object, which uh, can go from 0 to 359. If you type in 360, you'll get an error. It won't work. Your play button, when you're done with the thing, you, uh, your scene, and you want to see how it works you know, in the play scene, that's cool. Just click on that play button, and you saw what would happen last time. Toggle backstage. Let's say you have stuff above and below this thing, and this backstage is kind of in the way because you can't scroll really well with this. That's the one weakness of this program. You can toggle off that, and now you got full rain around your screen. It's very important. All right, that's it with this section. Next, I'm going to cover attributes.